celebrating fall today, but of course we've got to get a head start on winter. So Shona is headed back to the climate lab to test out winter coats and see which one keeps you the warmest. I'm going to change my answer. I'm toasty warm. It feels a little bit warmer here, for example, than it does here. I'm colder in this than I have been in the others. Just staying in here getting cold. <laughs> Your current temperature is 32.78 Celsius degree. Right now, I'm standing in what is a large freezer at the University Health Network. And what we're doing is we're measuring my body temperature when I'm testing each of these coats. The way we're doing that is we have a wire going down my arm that's going to read the temperature of my arm here. And then that way we can measure how quickly my body temperature drops, how warm the coat is keeping me, and we'll be able to gauge whether or not of its performance is a good one or a bad one. So far in this coat, my body temperature has dropped by one degree. So on a scale of one to five, five being like really uncomfortably cold and one being comfortable, I'm a one. I'm totally comfortable right now. I have no urges that I want to go get a cup of coffee or I want to go inside. I'm completely comfortable to enjoy my day. I've been in for about five minutes here in this North Face parka and I can't say surprised. I'm toasty warm. We've done a couple of parkas. Now let's see how a wool coat holds up. So this is interesting with this coat. I can totally feel a body difference. It's cooler where the wool is. Because it's longer, it goes all the way to my knee, and I'm actually really tall. My thighs are staying really warm. I can see my reflection through the glass where the computers are. This is kind of cute. They're all so cute. But appearance-wise, I give them all a 10. I like all these coats. Were you standing in the freezer for for we, the jackets? Yeah, did it we change? Did. did the times change? It changed depending how I wussed out. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> no, it was. Uh, we were gauging the body temperature, so once we knew it was performing, it wasn't. Yes. Then we moved on to the next. But I have to say, every single one of these coats performed, performed completely. Okay. I would recommend any of the coats I'm going to show you today. Yeah. There's just the differences between them is what I think people need to consider when choosing their winter coat. Okay. But I was toasty warm in the mall. Okay. So let's start with what to think about when you're picking your winter coat. Okay, so what's your use with it? Yeah. Are you going to be walking the dog in it? Are you going to be sitting in a hockey rink uh, for hours on end yes. watching your kids play hockey? Uh, are you going to be just going on a date night? So you want to look cute. Mm -hmm. Are you going to work and you have to fit a suit jacket over top of it yeah. if you work in a formal office? So think about why you're buying that coat. Right. That'll also get down to materials, which I'll get to in just a second. Okay. Well, I'll do that now. So the fill. So what do you want? Yeah, I said it. So let's just do it, right? So so think of the fill. So we've got synthetic fills. We've got down. We've got wool. Yeah. So what what are you looking for? And like I said, that's what I'll get through for each of these coats and what they will give you. Okay. And then the length. Like I said in the tape, do you do you just want a cute little bomber because it's date night and you're just going out, or do you really want it to go to your knees yeah. and keep your entire body and core? I mean, holy cow! You had a coat to your knees and you have a boots to go to your knees. Your kneecaps are the only thing that are going to be chilly. That's right. You know, like you can be really completely taken care of. But think about that. Yeah. And then washing the coat. Right. How easy is that going to be, or how tough is that going to be? Or how expensive. How expensive. If you're doing a synthetic fill or down fill, you can wash that at home within your own washer and dryer. Got it. If you're doing wool or cashmere or some other types of materials, then you're dry spill cleaning. your coffee on the commute and you're going to dry cleaning, etc. Yeah. And then waterproofing. So okay. that comes, at, or water repellent. So this yeah. first coat here is a Joe Fresh coat. It's a synthetic fill. Yeah. Okay, so this whole thing is synthetic. It's faux fur around the collar of the hood. Um, and it's filled with a primer. A loft, and yeah. that is a really high performance synthetic inside. Yeah. Fully washable, long hood, collar, check, 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 check. Also, yeah. good price point. So, you know. Warm and good price point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you can be standing at the bus stop for a really long time in that coat. You're a okay. decent amount of time. Yeah. A decent amount of time. Yeah. Okay. Everyone's got a different threshold too. Yeah. You know, like I'm totally. a wuss. I'm, I'm like you. I don't like winter well, very much. Well, that's good. I want to see yeah. a wuss in the freezer. Right. Because <laughs> I want to know. I want to know. Like, okay, so she's also cold all the time. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I can take your advice. This coat, I was didn't know what to expect. It's by Roots. Yeah. One, the reason why I didn't know what to expect is the whole thing is made from recycled water bottles. It's fully oh. sustainable. <gasps> 
Okay, it is cute. I yeah. love the red. It comes in other colors. Yeah. Um, crazy warm. Crazy really? warm. I was so impressed by this coat. And I it has loved a it. hood, doesn't it? It has a hood as well, and it comes up in the front. That's and good. it has a nice big pocket. So yeah. carrying, you know, That's these good. are the things to think about, you yeah. know. So Doggy you can also bags, wash this one on your own. Yeah. Yep. This is a Uniqlo, the puffer. Okay, yeah. this is 100% down. Mm -hmm. Things to look at when you're doing down is they don't have the seams. It's a seamless, it's called. So when, if you have a down coat, they have to do it in sections so all the feathers don't fall to the bottom, right? right. They have to keep it dis distributed. If there's a really big uh, stitch here, the wind will go through those stitches. And oh. it does not look that big. I'll yeah. tell you, when you got a wind chill factor, those holes feel like an open door, got okay? It. So Uniqlo has done that with theirs. 100% down, like I said, so really compact and very warm. And this is the one that went to my knees. That's a good length. Yeah, really good length. They have all different lengths, of course, but um, that was the beauty of this one. Okay. So wash also at home. Nice. Then we're going to the North Face Parka. That looks like it would be warm. Crazy warm. Uh -huh. Crazy. If I had to pick one that I felt might have been the warmest performing, it's this one. But again, they were all really excellent. Yeah. This is their parka style. So it's a faux fur around the top that comes mm -hmm. off. It's all down on the inside. But when you're looking at down, I want to encourage people to do their homework about that. There's a responsible down Good. Uh, process, and yeah. North Face completely subscribes to all of that. It's all full disclosure. Other brands do. Yeah. So just know what you're buying and know where it's coming from, because mm -hmm. uh, it's a really, really important thing. And okay. this one's also waterproof. So what I want to say when you're wearing down, if you intend to use it for a, a sporting event or go out on a rainy day, down is not good with wet. Right. So you don't wear down skiing. You don't yeah. wear down uh, snowshoeing if you're going to fall down a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, or something along those lines or a rainy day. Unless the exterior is water, at the very least, water resistant. Yeah. But even better if it's waterproof. Okay. If you're going to be doing something where there's moisture involved, then you're wanting going to go to a synthetic fill. Got it. Okay. All right. And then this one is also North Face. And the reason why I picked this one is it's a hybrid. Mm -hmm. So it is a combination of synthetic and the responsible down. Okay. So you've got best of both worlds. And when it comes to a rating, this scores 100 in a warmth rating. Does it, do we matter? Does it matter that it's got the, the deep uh, sewing It here? has the sewing, but there's no holes here. Oh, so I it's see. a whole proof. Okay. Uh, it, it's the inner shell. That's an excellent question. So the inner shell would have the stitching with the holes. And then this one on the outside won't let the air through. Got it. Okay. Does that make mm -hmm. sense? Because I want to make sure that's clear. Yep. So, uh, and this one also, you know, comes in the kind of the lower length. So not all the way down as far as a Uniqlo one mm -hmm. did, but it had a great length to it as well. And very, 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 very high performance lightweight. You can roll this up and shove it in your bag yeah, if you they want. they all seem pretty light, which is nice. Yeah. That's the difference, thick right? Thick and heavy does not mean warm. It doesn't mean warm. That's an really excellent warm. takeaway everybody mm -hmm. needs to hear. Those yeah. days are long gone. Yeah. It's, if you pick them up and you're like, how can this keep me warm? I don't get it. Right. It does because the technology behind it working. and the manufacturing behind it where yes. you know it's a lot of the time, you know, you get what you pay for. So this so, um, this one's really lovely. Is that wool? Soyan Kyo is the brand of this one. Yeah. The body here is wool. And as okay. I mentioned in the tape, the bottom here is a the ends of the arms, mm -hmm. the ends of the uh, bottom, like which is going to cover your thighs and your butt. Yeah. And then a little bit around your head is all synthetic uh, fill. Got it. And so what? how I'd recommend this one is this is the one that you're on a commute, you're spending a little bit of your time in uh, in a car or coming and going because the wool, this isn't intended to be a parka. This is mm. a cute coat. That's this cute. is work. This is date night. You're right. cute as a button. It it's comes pretty. in a bunch of colors. It's really pretty. Mm -hmm. I kept my, my bottom of my arms really warm. I kept the bottom of my uh, thighs and bum really warm, which yeah. are important areas. Mm -hmm. Put a scarf on this and you will look cute and be warm and not minus 40. But yeah. you're dealing easily with like a minus 10, minus 12 ish type thing. Okay, so that can be like the warmest of your cute coats. Well, these and are then cute. You but get, no, they're cute. These but are cute. I mean, like, Tracy. Fashion. No, yes, this is very this is much a fashion, fashion coat. And, and, and you're going to feel really good wearing that. That's right. date night on a cold night, too. Good stuff, yeah. Donna. Thank you.